The Palmetum of Santa Cruz de Tenerife is a unique project in the world. For the first time, a city garbage dump has been successfully converted into a space for leisure and environmental culture. The City Council of Santa Cruz de Tenerife has completed a project that extends its greenery along 12 hectares with a spectacular vegetation, the result of cooperation between many institutions around the world. The Palmetum stands on the coast of Santa Cruz, rising like the only mountain city garden. It has abundant viewpoints with fantastic views of the sea, the city and the mountains of Anaga. In his gardens grows an admirable collection of palms from around the world with the streams, lakes and waterfalls. Since 1995, the first species were planted. It has been generated an increasingly complex ecological system in which many birds have settled spontaneously, becoming a place for migratory species. It is a space which has several structures, the octagon, a 2,300 square meters shade house, and 1,000 square meters ethnographic museum, including the entrance building with a lift and a ramp to access to the mountain, guaranteeing the complete accessibility to the Palmetum. In order to represent and show the diverse flora palm trees around the globe, the surface of the mountain has been distributed in 14 biogeographic sections. The geographical divisions and their habitats are admired around the world for its great scenic and educational value. Visiting the park is like a walk in the globe, because his sections are dedicated to Africa, Central America, Borneo and the Philippines, Australia and Lord Howe, Hawaii, Asia, the Canary Islands, Caribbean Islands, Mascarene Islands, Madagascar, Melanesia, New Caledonia, New Guinea and the Solomon Islands and South America. This way, in the heart of the city, natural landscapes of very faraway places from the Canary Islands and very different each other can be walked through. Among such diversity, Phoenix Canariensis, the Canary Island palm tree, is the star of the sector dedicated to the archipelago, raised as a reproduction of a canary thermophilic forest with other native species. From the city of Santa Cruz, which is the capital of the island of Tenerife, we are very proud on how the city has converted a garbage dump into a fantastic new botanic palm tree park. We want to convert Palmetto in the new image of Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz has now something to feel proud of, a new thing to feel proud of, not only for our inhabitants, but also for our visitors. There are thousands of tourists that are, that are discovering the new offer, the new touristic offer of Santa Cruz, Palmetun. They will talk about Palmetun worldwide. This is important for us because we want that people talk about Santa Cruz with positive, and why not, uh, with things regarding our own environment. Let me also give our special thank to the Prince and Princess of, of Spain. They uh, did the inauguration of this Palmetto a couple of months ago, and they have been now proclaimed Queen and King of Spain. A botanical place like this is like a hybrid between a wild natural habitat and the museum, so kids love it. And this is the right place to create future. I think that we will see a bright future because the Palmetum is not just a showcase, it's a place that if we keep on going with the, the international corporations, we will be able to keep and develop a dream collection. We are in a very original, spectacular, and at the same time beautiful place, considered actually as a garden 
a botanical garden or a botanical park. It is a milestone for the city of Santa Cruz de Tenerife and people are proud to have this special park recently inaugurated by the Prince of Spain and his wife. At the same time, I think it would be a very interesting place to promote the environmental education and at the same time the sensibilization for the arborists of the world. The Botanical Garden is home to around 2,000 different plant species, of which 472 are palm trees from around the world. More than 70 endangered species, 14 of which are critically endangered, are grown. It is worthy of note the collection of Caribbean palms, one of the biggest collections in the world. Besides other botanical collections, such as ficus and pines, the tallest trees of this natural area. Numerous exotic fruits, such as cacao, noni, apple water and bread tree also coexist with other species, other plants like baobabs, mangroves, bromeliads and plumerias, reinforce its broad appeal surprising the visitor. Como alcalde de Santa Cruz de Tenerife, quiero presentarles un ilusionante proyecto ya hecho realidad, el Palmetto. Santa Cruz de Tenerife es una ciudad situada en un cruce de caminos entre América, África y Europa, con una creciente población de Asia que han hecho de esta ciudad su hogar. Personas que aman esta ciudad propusieron un reto, transformar un vertedero de 110.000 metros cuadrados cercano al centro de la ciudad en un jardín botánico. Con ilusión, todos nos pusimos a trabajar en un terreno árido y extremadamente degradado por décadas de vertidos contaminantes y sujetos a la influencia del mar. Ahí construimos un increíble jardín botánico de palmeras, el Palmetum. El Palmetum no es solo un espacio científico y recreativo magnífico, sino una escuela medioambiental viva para que los niños y niñas comprendan la importancia de preservar la naturaleza para nuestro futuro. Finalmente, quiero invitarles a visitar Santa Cruz de Tenerife. Queremos colaborar con otras ciudades del mundo con nuestro saber hacer, las lecciones aprendidas y cómo hemos superado las dificultades con esfuerzo y con dedicación. Santa Cruz de Tenerife es un punto de encuentro y estaremos muy felices de acogerles aprendiendo de sus experiencias y orgullosos de mostrarles el palmetto.